Understanding how sibling DNA testing works. Sibling testing is usually done to prove paternity when a suspected father is not available. There are two types of sibling tests. The first analysis is a full sibling compared to a half sibling test. The second method of testing is a half sibling compared to unrelated as siblings. Both tests compare the DNA from those who submit their DNA samples for testing against each other to determine how probable it is that the sibling relationship they are testing for exists. Let's look at an example that explains about full sibling testing. This is Lois. Lois is the mother of two children. Her children are Bobby and Emily. Lois is not certain if her two children have the same biological father. Lois wants to take a DNA test to find out the answer to her question. Because she knows she is the mother and only wants to learn if they have the same father, Lois should have a full sibling test done using the children's DNA to compare against each other. Every person inherits 50% of their DNA from their mother and 50% from their father. When a mother is able to submit her DNA on a full sibling test, we can subtract out of each child's DNA, the DNA inherited by the mother. This can be helpful, in some cases, in providing the strongest results possible. Here is an example to demonstrate this. Sometimes it is not possible, for many reasons, to include the mother's DNA when sibling testing is done. What happens then? Can the test still be done? Yes, we can still do the testing. We always start with 24 genetic markers, which is a much higher amount of DNA examined than most companies. If we cannot reach a conclusive result using our standard number of markers, then the case will automatically be upgraded to test additional genetic material. We will test up to 35 markers for the best possible results and this upgrade is always provided when needed at no additional cost to you. Using the most advanced equipment and current technology, our lab is able to reach conclusive results in almost every case using this process. And we are able to have results ready for you in almost every case in just two business days after the lab receives all the DNA samples. What about when two or more people want to test to see if they are half siblings, that is, only having the same biological father because they already know they have different mothers? This DNA test is called a half sibling compared to no sibling relationship. A half sibling test can be done between two or more people of any sex. We can test male to male female to female, and male to female, to determine if they are half-siblings. Even though, half-siblings do not have the same mother, and are only testing, to see if they have the same father, it may be helpful in some cases, to include the DNA for one of the mothers. The reason for this, is the same as explained earlier, when explaining full sibling testing. When a half-sibling test is being done, and it is not possible to submit the DNA of one of the mothers, our process is the same as mentioned earlier. The lab will automatically test up to 35 markers to issue the strongest findings possible on the relationship of half-siblings. Here's another example, this time of two people who want to take a half-sibling DNA test. In this case, some information has come to both Ava and Sam, indicating they may be half-siblings. They need to confirm this information and decide to take a half-sibling DNA test. It may be helpful to have either Ava or Sam's mother submit her DNA sample also. It does not matter which mother gives a DNA sample. 
so they both asked their mothers, if they would be willing, to submit a mouth swab sample, for their DNA test. Ava's mother, said she would contribute her DNA, to the test. So in the case, the DNA profile, from Ava's mother, is extracted from her DNA sample. Her DNA, is then eliminated, from the DNA profile the lab created, from Ava's mouth swab. Here, we can see, that with Ava's mother's DNA eliminated, that only leaves the DNA her father gave her. That DNA is then tested, against Sam's DNA, from which we can then see, if the suspected father's DNA, shows they probably are half-siblings, or not. Since our sibling tests, always compare only the DNA, of each person testing, against each other, the results reported are always, accurate. The only way you can really tell if two people are, half-siblings, or full-siblings, or not siblings at all, is by each person, giving their DNA, and then comparing that sample, to another person, directly. Any other type of DNA test, such as ancestry type testing, cannot be certain of the relationships, they may indicate it, because, they are not testing each person involved. Sibling DNA testing, is accepted as accurate scientifically, to establish indirect paternity. In fact, legal sibling testing, is accepted by courts, for helping to establishing paternity, and for immigration purposes, social security survivors benefits, and many other legal situations. Are sibling tests? Are low cost? Always accurate? And all testing, is done in accredited, laboratory facilities, so you can be certain, of the results from your sibling DNA test. At Journey Genetic Testing, we look forward, to helping you, on your journey to the truth, through DNA testing.